My name is John Bosnov. I'm official expedition photographer for Poseidon Expeditions. I want to thank you very much for booking a trip with Poseidon. And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the kind of photography equipment that I think you should be bringing with you to the polar regions. So the first piece of equipment you want to think about is the kind of camera bag you're bringing with you. It is likely that at some point on your voyage, uh, your camera equipment or your backpack might get wet. So it's very important that you bring a waterproof backpack with you to house your camera equipment while you're in a Zodiac or on land. Um, anything from snow or rain and even sea spray it can wet your equipment at some point. So it is very important to have a waterproof camera bag. So regarding different cameras to bring, I would recommend bringing uh, two different camera bodies with you each of them with different lenses on them. I would recommend bringing uh, two main lenses, one wide angle lens, this is for, to capture anything from uh, landscape shots as well as portraits of people. So I'd also recommend bringing a telephoto lens to take photos of wildlife. Down in Antarctica, a lens that's 100 to 400 millimeters will be adequate. Up in the Arctic, I would suggest something a little bit longer for taking photographs of polar bears. So using an extender can help, or even a focal length of up to 600 millimeters. I don't personally use filters in the polar regions, but if you did want to bring some with you, the two I would recommend is a polarizing filter. This one is to help you cut out glare and reflections in your photo if you do encounter some bright sunlight, and also for helping to get some nice shots of ice under the water, such as with icebergs. I would also recommend bringing a neutral density filter, also known as an ND filter, and this is to take long exposure photographs of waterfalls and running water. If you do decide to bring an ND filter with you, I would also recommend bringing a tripod with it. This is to make sure that you get a nice stable shot while you're doing a long exposure, just to ensure that your photograph is nice and sharp. So if you're not interested in bringing heavy camera equipment with you, you can still take fantastic photos just on your smartphone. Many flagship smartphones these days are waterproof and you will not need any additional housing for them, but I would check this before coming on your expedition. So shooting in the polar regions is unique for several reasons. Uh, one is that your equipment is likely to get wet at some point during your trip, and so this is why it is of the utmost importance that you bring camera equipment that is waterproof or weather resistant to some extent. Also, the cold temperatures in the polar regions can make shooting with batteries difficult. I would recommend bringing additional batteries with you that you can swap out in the situation that your camera equipment does get very cold and your batteries fail. If you're not interested in taking photographs on your voyage but would instead like to enjoy the moment and take in the scenery, I'll be taking photographs on the trip which you will receive at the end of your voyage on a USB stick. So my first time visiting the polar regions was coming down to Antarctica with Poseidon Expeditions in early 2016. It was my first time visiting anywhere in the world that was so isolated and remote and I was absolutely bewildered by seeing tens of thousands of penguins in their natural habitat, something that I had never seen anywhere else in the world before. And I've been coming back every year uh, ever since that first visit in 2016 to photograph the wildlife. Many travel destinations these days are often very overrun with tourists. What I love about the polar regions is how isolated they are from the rest of the planet. When you come to these parts of the world, such as Svalbard in the high Arctic where I am now, you won't have anybody else here except yourself and your fellow companions. There's also a large variety of subject matter to photograph in the polar regions, such as vast landscapes, a huge variety of wildlife, and beautiful icebergs and glaciers. So now you know what to bring for your voyage. I look forward to seeing you aboard a Poseidon Expeditions vessel in the near future, where I'll be giving you plenty of photography tips to make the most of your trip.